As of June 1st, Google Photos no longer offers free unlimited storage. So here's what to do now that Google Photos is no longer free. Hey friends, I'm Tasia Custody and welcome back to my YouTube channel where I share tech tips, app reviews, and a ton of Google tips. And it finally happened. Google Photos is no longer offering free unlimited storage. So I'm going to walk you through in this video what to do now that Google Photos is no longer free. The first thing you need to know is that this change from free unlimited storage will not affect your current photo situation. So what you have here on your Google Photos before June 1st will stay there for you regardless of this new 15 gigabyte storage limit. And Pixel users, listen up. If you have a Pixel phone, you'll still have access to Google Photos, different file types and everything, depending on the model of Pixel you have. But for the rest of us, there are a few options to consider now when it comes to Google Photos. And some of these options will depend on how you use Google Photos. So first, let's talk about exactly how to free up space with Google Photos. Tip number one, clear out blurry photos or screenshots that you don't need. And wouldn't you know, Google Photos has this ability easily right from the app. From the Google's Photo app, Tap on your account icon, then select account storage. From here, tap manage storage. Under review and delete, you'll see how much storage certain files are taking up. So I've got about 93 megabytes taken up by blurry photos and 76 megabytes taken up by screenshots, which many I probably don't need to keep. So tap on whatever section you'd like to clear out. And here, tap select in the top right, and then select which photos you want to delete. Now back in the manage storage section, you'll see how much storage you have remaining, as well as some other suggestions here at the bottom to clean up your Gmail and Drive space since it all counts towards your Google storage limit. Tip number two, adjust your automatic backup and sync options. Now, I will tell you right now, I am a big fan of auto backing up from my device straight to Google Photos. But if you're really worried about a space issue, maybe you wanna do some housekeeping before you reach that limit here, you might want to stop temporarily automatically backing up those photos and videos to Google Photos. So here's how, again, Tap on your profile picture and this time head to your Google Photos settings. Now from here, select backup and sync. Right at the top, you have the option to toggle off the backup and sync option altogether. Or if you look towards the bottom of this section, you'll see here that there is an upload size section. Tap on this just to see what quality you're uploading. So I've got mine set to slightly reduce quality rather than the original just in order to save space in Google Photos. Tip number three, you could always back up your Google Photos and then delete the existing ones off of the Google Photos app. Now, I know, I know this is not exactly ideal, but hear me out. All right, so the only reason I think this may be useful is let's say you have photos from years and years and years ago on your Google Photos. There might be an opportunity to move those over somewhere else, maybe to another cloud storage device or hard drive. But I cannot stress this enough. If you decide to back up your Google Photos to an external hard drive, please, for the love of all things holy, make a backup of the backup. Always remember, two is as good as one, and one is as good as none. Now with that said, let's say you already pay for a Dropbox account, so you may not want to pay for multiple storage solutions. I totally get it. In that case, you may consider backing up all your Google Photos to Dropbox and then deleting them from your Google Photos account in order to save space there. But whatever backup option you choose, you can use Google Takeout to export an entire copy of your content. So from takeout.google.com, once you're signed into your Google account, deselect all the options and then scroll down to the Google Photos section 
and toggle that on. You can even see a list of the file formats that will be included in the export. Now, another important point here, if you decide to back up and then delete your existing photos from Google Photos, sure, you'll free up your Google Photo storage as well as your overall Google Drive storage, but you're going to lose all that great search functionality in Google Photos. So think, there'll be no more memories that pop up to look back on certain dates. There'll be no memories with specific people or locations. Google Photos does such a great job with this, so it's really something to consider. And tip number four, well, you could actually just upgrade your Google storage and keep on keeping on. There are actually a couple ways to do this. You can upgrade to Google One Storage via the web by clicking on your Google profile pic and then selecting Manage Google Account. Now from here, scroll down and you'll have an account storage section where you're gonna have a snapshot of your current storage situation. So what you can do is click on Manage Storage in order to get a more detailed breakdown of what it is that's taking up your space. Plus, you can upgrade your storage from here too. Now, I also wanna point out, you might notice I have 17 gigabytes, not 15 gigs. The free storage typically does cap at 15 gigabytes. I've got 17 because of a promotion with a linked Google account from many years back. But you can also upgrade directly from your Google Photos app. So tap on your profile pic and then select account storage. And from here, you can either manage your storage, which is what we just went over earlier, or you can buy 100 gigabytes for just $1.99 a month. So this begs the question, is Google One storage worth it? The short answer, yes. The long answer, I will be upgrading my storage and there are a few reasons for this. Number one, it's still one of the cheapest cloud storage solutions around. And y'all know I'm cheap. Number two, I have years and years of my photos backed up with Google Photos. So switching all that over now seems daunting. And also I'd lose some of those features I love. Which brings me to number three. I love, love, love how Google Photos sorts and organizes my photos for me based on the time of year and location and people. They put together these like cute little albums that create awesome little memory banks for me. And it's so easily searchable. That's a huge win. And number four, I love being able to access my Google Photos from my device or from the web, no matter where I am. So you could always look into alternatives to Google Photos, but when you think of the $1.99 US per month price tag for 100 gigabytes across your Drive ecosystem, not just Google Photos, it really can't be beat. And now I wanna hear from you. What are you gonna do now that Google Photos is no longer free? Will you upgrade your Google One storage? Let everyone know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, well, I wanna know. So give it a like, a share, or leave that comment below. You can click right about here to subscribe to my channel and here and here for even more Google videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.